build me up. But a cup, baby, just to let me down. Ignore my emails, and worst of all, you never zoom, baby, when you say you will. But I love you still, I need you, you need me more than anyone, darling. I know distance learning is hard, but build you up. But a cup, don't break our hearts. Hello, fellow fellows and fellow educators. This is Diamond Emerald Skinner bringing you another daily gem. God, good vibes, education, and motivation. So I know if you're like me, you've had some kids who have checked in, did the right thing, made promises to you day one, and then didn't follow through on them day two. You're trying to get them on Zoom. You're trying to text, email, whatever, duo, whatever it is. You had one good day, and the next day they fall off. So I know you're feeling like that because I'm feeling like that way too, but just stay encouraged, right? That's step one. We're still almost through this, right? Um, and we're asking our kids, right, not to break our hearts, but really to build themselves up because our whole goal is to make sure that they are well-rounded, capable, ready human beings for the next chapter of their life. Um, the other thing I want to talk about today is I mentioned in a couple videos before about being summer school ready, right? You know, summer school this year is going to be more different than we've ever experienced before. And you have to make sure that you're the right person to do that. I am... Um, thinking of the DISC assessment, and we have these personality assessments. I'm an I, which means I love interaction, speaking with people, seeing people, and that's not re really summer school is going to be like. It's going to be a lot of procedures, a lot of check boxes, a lot of get this done, see you later, you know, asynchronous, some live, some not. But I know that I'm not actually the teacher with the personality type that can really follow through on the monotony of, of that type of learning. I can't wait to get back in the classroom, and I want to support you the best way that I can, but being a summer school teacher might take too much from me. Right? I might not be the best person for that job. So think about that. The other thing I want to say too is that you need to have your contact information because we should all be doing SBOs, which are the school-based options, voting about things that we want to be changed for next year that we have control over, the things that we usually have, right? Extended time, parent-teacher conferences, comp time positions. So make sure that your chapter leader has your correct email address and correct phone number. If you don't, if they don't have that information, you have no say. You have taken away your right to vote and participate in the process of the decisions that happen at your school. So make sure your information is up to date with your chapter leader because you're going to be voting using your phone, right, or your um, computer. So make sure that the information is set. So those are both of my step twos. And step three, fear not. We made it to another Friday and shine bright. Have a wonderful day, fellow educators.